Some people want you to think President Bush lied when he talked about Saddam's weapons. Well, I just see all these signs that You're say Bush to turn lied. Around. Well, well, I see a lot of signs that say Bush lied, and it seems to me that the well, intelligence has been the same I mean, for a while. Bush is now being bashed by Democrats who talk tough about Iraq when Bill Clinton was in the White House. Bill Clinton was given the same bad information that everybody else was. Oh, so it wasn't just George W. Bush lying? No, he knew. Even recently, when polls showed that supporting President Bush was politically beneficial, Democrats stood with the president. Clinton was clear that he did not know and there was no way of knowing. But he but said there are weapons of mass that. destruction. No, he, did, he did not say that. Hang on, I got a quote. But now it's campaign season and the Democrats have changed their tune. We want to seriously diminish the threat posed by Iraq's weapons of mass destruction. Bill Clinton. When? February 17th, 1998. Is this political switcheroo working? To find out, I pitted the Democrats against the protesters in a battle of wits. Whenever a protester correctly identifies a hawkish quote from a Democrat, the protesters get one point. But if the protesters are fooled, the Democrats get a point. Will the donkeys beat the peaceniks? Find out on Pin the Tail on the Donkeys. We're having a little political quiz game here. Okay, I'm ready for it. Do you like ketchup? No. Do you like waffles? No. All right, well, then you're not going to like these prizes. <laughs> so there is money involved. What? Well, there, if you consider waffles to be money, then yes, there's yeah, money involved. Right. Do you prefer ketchup or waffles? <laughs> we have waffles and we have ketchup. If you don't like ketchup, I or waffles the waffles concept, do. the waffle. He's waffling on And the, the ketchup, it's Heinz ketchup. You see where I'm going with that? Because of his wife. As you know, Teresa Heinz Carey is John Carey's wife. Do you think you're ready for it? Yes, I am. You sure? Yes, I am. You can back out at any time. No, I won't back out at no time. All right. Who lied to America by saying of Saddam Hussein? We know that he has stored secret supplies Mr. of biological... Uh, uh, wait a minute, it's multiple choice, don't you? You want to win, right? Who lied to America by saying of Saddam Hussein? We know that he has stored secret supplies of biological and chemical weapons throughout his country. Is it A, Colin Powell, B, Al Gore, or C, George W. Bush? Like I said, C, Mr. Bush. You think that was Bush? Yes. Ooh, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Colin Powell? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. Al Gore. Al Gore, that's your final answer? That's my final answer. You are correct. Yeah, B, Al Gore, definitely. Al Gore, yeah. that's your final answer. Yep. You are correct! It is Al Gore. If Saddam rejects peace and we have to use force, our purpose is clear. We want to seriously diminish the threat posed by Iraq's weapons of mass destruction program. Bill Clinton said something like that in 1998, just before they impeached his ass. Who said it? Condoleezza? It's be Condoleezza. Condoleezza. Condoleezza Rice? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's my name. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I know. Clinton, yes. Yes, Clinton said it. This is a verbatim Bill quote. Bill Clinton. You are correct. Saddam Hussein has worked to rebuild his chemical and biological weapons stock, his missile delivery capability, and his nuclear program. He has also given aid, comfort, and sanctuary to terrorists, including Al-Qaeda members. Is it A, Hillary Clinton? Is it B, Dick Cheney? Or is it C, George W. Bush? Dick Cheney? Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, it was Hillary Clinton. I say Dick Cheney, because uh, he's real cock on the whole issue. Hillary Clinton. You are correct. I think it's Hillary Clinton. You are right. We must stop Saddam from ever again jeopardizing the stability and security of his neighbors with weapons of mass destruction. Hussein has chosen to spend his money on building weapons of mass destruction and palaces for his cronies. Who do you think it was? Oh God, Powell. Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney, ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no. That was Madeleine Albright, the Secretary of State under President Clinton. You want to change your answer? It's Wolfowitz. Oh, I'm sorry, that is still incorrect. It was Madeleine Albright, Secretary of State under President Clinton. 
Which politician shamelessly beat the drums for war by saying of Saddam Hussein, the threat of Saddam Hussein with weapons of mass destruction is real. He presents a particularly grievous threat because he is so consistently prone to miscalculation. And now he is miscalculating America's response to his continued deceit and his consistent grasp for weapons of mass destruction. Who do you think it is? Tony Blair. Who do you think it is? Tony Blair. Well, I'm gonna say George W. Bush because he did say something Almost exactly like that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. It is John Kerry. Right. It is. That's okay. I know where he's going with this. I don't read it. Read it again. I know where he's going with this, and I'm not going to say John Kerry. I feel like we got John Kerry. You are correct. Is it A. George W. Bush? Is it B. Tony Blair, or is it C. John Kerry? <laughs> I think it's John Kerry. Oh, you are correct! Congratulations. I said Kerry. You I'm say Kerry. <laughs> yeah, baby, uh, you won. Say Blair. George W. Bush, is that your final answer? Sure. Sure? Oh, I'm sorry to say, that was John Kerry. John Kerry made that statement in a speech at Georgetown University on January 23rd, 2003. I'd say Kerry. You are correct. You're going to win a waffle. Now you get to choose your prize. We have for you, we have ketchup or waffles. Which would you prefer? Ketchup. I have to warn you, the waffles are not cooked. And I can only give you one waffle. Oh, in that case, give me some ketchup. Well, unfortunately, I can only give you one because we got a lot of other prizes. Well, you can't cook it here anyway. You don't want to lug this around, do you? Sure, I have room for it. I have a suitcase. Oh, well, we don't have that kind of budget. <laughs> they're not cooked. Oh, so frozen waffles? Well, they were frozen. Now they're kind of thawed out a little. Hey, you know what? What the hell? I didn't have waffles before. We have for you here a lovely oh. bottle of Heinz ketchup. Oh. Have fun. What do you think you're going to put that on? My husband. Oh, <laughs> thanks a lot. Enjoy that waffle. You, know what, you, can have it. you don't want the waffle? All right, thanks anyway. In 1991, John Kerry sent the same constituent a letter both supporting and opposing the Gulf War within two weeks of each other. I really don't think uh, Kerry is such a great dude himself because, you know, he's just been back and forth on the war issue, you know? One letter was sent to Wallace Carter dated January 22nd, 1991. The other letter was sent to Wallace Carter dated January 31st, 1991. Kerry's going to have send another letter tomorrow. Sure. Very appropriate for a political thing, you know, because, he, I mean, Kerry's a waffler. He supported something one day, but manana is another day. I understand this, but in this case, there's a lot of pressure on Kerry to make a distinction between himself and Bush, and that's what I'm counting on.